What's going on, YouTube? This your boy, I am Core from theaccolades.com. Hey, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button so y'all can get notifications whenever I upload more videos. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at I am Core, A M K H O R D, and I'll follow y'all back as soon as I can. Hey, appreciate the support. We ain't gonna waste too much time. Let's get right into it. Bye. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This your boy, I am Core from theaccolades.com, back with another tutorial. First off, I want to say I appreciate everybody's support. So let's get right into it. In one of my previous videos, I spoke on split sheets and how to fill them out, how to break down the percentages for a song. Once we finish a session or finish the song, and before we register that song, you know, as y'all should be doing with your PRO, Performance Rights Organization. So you have BMI, CSEC, and ASCAP, as I spoke on in my previous video. In other countries, y'all have different PROs. So this for those that's, you know, pretty much in the United States. So it may help some of y'all out that use the PROs in the other countries. But we're going to take that information from the split sheet, and we're going to apply that information into registering our song with our PRO. So in my case, I'm registered to BMI. That's who I'm a member of, and that's what I've been using over the years. So if you use any of the other uh, PROs, like I said, same rules still apply. You know, it might be something different on the screen, but you should be able to gather some information from this video. So we ain't gonna waste too much time. You know, let's get right to it. So for this example, we're gonna use a song called In The Morning. I produced the song and my boy Davion sung it. So he did the lyrics on it and I composed it. So with the split sheets, it's gonna be, I'm gonna show you. Oh. To our split sheet, we got the song title in the morning, the date, still got to put the date uh, that we finished it, the recording artist, you know, it's gonna be Davion, record labels, we don't have a record label, studio name for this. Since we recorded, recorded it here in my house and uh, mixing everything here, I could put my home in here and my address, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, studio phone number, I can just put my cell phone. Sample, it does not contain any sample. Uh, album or artist with sample originated, we do not have to fill this out because it doesn't contain a sample. Writer one or, or composer is me. Uh, my address, phone number, I can put that in. Publishing company, I do not have a publishing company that I'm with. Affiliation, I'm affiliated with BMI. That's what we're gonna register the song on. Uh, ownership since i composed the music is going to be 50 percent now with the split sheet is going to be by 100 percent, and you'll see when we get to bmi it's going to be at 200 percent. and i'll explain that once i get there uh the cae is pretty much like a an international identification number that's assigned to like the publishers and the songwriters so you can identify the rights holders uh if you don't have one which I don't see why you wouldn't if you register any of these three. Uh, you can put your social security number, which I do not recommend. I don't put my social security number on nothing. Uh, birth, uh, birth date, and I'm tripping. So you can put your birth date if you want to. Uh, your composer, Davion. This is composer writer number two, so it'd be Davion. My boy Davion, his address, phone number. You know, his publishing company, he signed to himself. So... I, you know, I've tried to get him to do a video on that. And some of y'all want to know how you do that. Uh, ASCAP, BMI, CSEC. He's assigned to ASCAP. That's who he's affiliated with. The ownership, he did the lyrics, 50%. And when I, let me go back to here. Like, when I say he signed to himself, he has his own publishing company that he ended up creating a while back. And so he signed himself as an artist to his publishing company. So, you know, and then we got the, uh, you know, the signature, write a comp uh, composer signature, CAE again, the birthday, boom, boom, boom. So that'll be it for the split sheet. So for the song, I'll probably play about, about 20 seconds of the song. So this is out from my website, all, all the works that I've, you know, contributed in as you can see with the boots the album missed two songs on there YFN Lucci blah 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 Kerry Hilson I ain't gonna say blah blah blah, blah. alright so we gonna go to this song in the morning 
All right, so I put together like a visualizer for this since we don't have no video out for this. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know what been going on that morning. It's in like my web browser been acting kind of crazy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and play this thing. That's the song that we're gonna register. So we, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna log into our BMI account. As you can see, I'm already logged into my BMI account. I said in the previous video for ASCAP and CSEC affiliated uh, artists and producers, the process should be similar. You know, for for BMI, you see you got the BMI Live. Uh, these are different applications. And we're looking at the works registration. We need to register our work. Boom. All right, let this load up. Oh, that's not even been tripping. There we go. So no in-process works to display. So we're gonna add a new work. And as you see, search and select the account you'd like to add this work to. So it already pulls up my account. Select the type of work you're registering. I'm not registering any classical music. Also, you can hover above these question marks and it'll tell you. It'll give you like an explanation. So this is not written for live concert performance. So it's gonna be up, this song is gonna be under this category, all other genres. So, uh, select that, hit next. So work title. It's gonna be titled in the morning. Boom. Duration. This is optional, but we're gonna put it in here anyway. So if I need to see how long the song is. Two minutes and 40 seconds. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Work content. Select the option based on whether or not the work consists of music and lyrics or music only. The work consists of music and lyrics. The language, we're gonna choose English. And you know, you have different different languages on here. So if you speak another language or the song is in another language, then make sure you choose the right language. Uh, add alternate title. We don't have an alternate title for this song. Hit next. Now it says, is this work an arrangement of, a, of, is this work an arrangement of a public domain work or a foreign lyric version of another work? Public domain work, an arrangement of previously written work where the original work is not protected by copyright. So no, this is not an arrangement of a public domain work or a foreign lyric version of another work. No. And you got your little help tip here. Most works are not arrangements or foreign lyric versions. So, no. Does this work contain samples or medleys? No, it does not. Everything is created originally. You see, you hover above these to get more of an explanation if, you, if you're not sure. But I'm sure. Hit no. No, next. Are there any publishers on this work? So, you see in the note for works without publishers, total writer shares must equal 200, 200%. So with Davion, like I said, he has his own publishing company. He doesn't have like, a, he's going through another publisher. So I'm not going to count that as his own publishing company. I could do that, but I let him do that on his end because he's going to have to register the song too. So... I'm gonna say no, there, there aren't any publishers on this work. 
I'm gonna show you what happens if uh, we all wait till we get to the end. So I'm gonna choose no. Because a lot of people go ahead, aren't gonna have any publishers. So I wanna make this self explanatory to y'all and make it easy for y'all to understand. But like I said, you see this note down here. Total writer shares must equal 200% for works without publishers. If it's a publisher involved, you give them a percentage. But being that Davion is his publishing company, he signed himself to himself so he can break up the percentage if he want to. But with the split sheet itself, the physical split sheet, you know what I said? Everything's broken. You take 100% and you break it down. So if you got the producer, 50%, you got the lyrics for one artist, that's another 50%. That equals 100. So once you get into BMI or the PRO registering the song, it's still the same theory. Except it, everything must add up to 200%. So with this, the producer, which is me, I get 100%. And the songwriter, which is Davion, he'd get the other 100% to add up to 200%. It's still the same math. I know a lot of y'all gonna be like, well, shoot, I might well just use the split sheet and just do, just tally up everything as 200% on the split sheet itself. You can do that. But I just go by the way that I was taught by one of the entertainment lawyers how to do this. So let's go, boom, hit next, pick a writer. So I can pick a writer, which is me. That's my BMI account. Uh, I don't care about showing this number. Hey, if y'all wanna add this number, I know a lot of people be, be trying to be slick on the internet. Hey, go ahead and add this number to y'all's account. Let me get some of the royalties too. Uh, so, so we could do this, Put uh, pick the writer, which is me. Roll, now you have author. Author could be the person that wrote the lyrics. Well, it is the person that wrote the lyrics. Composer who produced it. Uh, if you compose and the author, like say if I produce the song and I help write some of the lyrics for the song, I would choose this. But in this case, only produced the beat. My affiliation. You got this information from my account right here. So BMI, writer share. I produced it, so I get 100%. Like I say, it must tally up to be 200%. Hit next. Oh, what? Well, let's save and add another writer. We're gonna add Davion. So, I don't think he mind me showing his last name. Y'all can look him up. Uh, Roll, he's the author. Affiliation, he's with ASCAP. As you can see, there are other PROs in here, but the, well, the top three Known, well known ones in the United States is ASCAP, CSEC, and BMI. So, write a share, he wrote the lyrics. Oh, you get 100%. So, everything adds up to be 200% now. So, we go hit next. Now, he's going to take this song and he's also going to register it with under his ASCAP account, too. All right. So now we're finished with that. You indicated there are no publishers on this word. If you change your mind, you can add a publisher by clicking here. We're not gonna do that. Are there any artists? Yes. So like say, um, like, let's explain it. Like uh, let's say Beyonce, even though she's the artist, when it comes to BMI and all that registering your song, with the splits, it's only for composers and songwriters, right? So artists don't get any splits. But when you're talking about like Beyonce and like Rihanna and Justin Bieber, whatever, they're gonna get their uh, <laughs> they're gonna get a percentage of what they what the original writer wrote, just because who they are. So, but in this case, like say I wrote this song for Davion or just some random person. No, you're not gonna get a split. So are there any artists? Because we're still gonna select yes because Davion is the artist himself. Are there any recordings? Yes, we do have the song recorded. Was this work created for film, TV, theater, or music library? No, it wasn't. So a music library would be like a, 
where you could submit your songs to uh, for sync licensing libraries where they, you know, where other companies would go to that that website library and go through and license out your music. So this is not the case with this song. Next, artist name. Davion. Next, select type format. This is a single right now. Record title, a recording title in the morning. Release date, we could choose today just for this example. Was this recording released by a record label? No. Next. All right, hit next again. So now we on the summary tab. So this right here, you just go through, you check. It say right here, sound recordings. You do not need to provide any type of sound recording to register your work with BMI. I know a lot of y'all probably gonna ask that. So no, you do not have to upload your song. Now, the only time you have to upload your song or submit your song to anything is when you copyright your song. So I'll probably do a video on that as well showing you how to copyright your song. So you go through this uh, summary page, make sure all the information is correct. Boom, boom, boom. So for this, since I don't have this uh, IP name or number, which would be like the CAE number, I'm just gonna leave it blank. But I'm not gonna submit this form right now anyway, because I need to get this information. So I get that information from him and, and put it in here. So it pretty much make it easier for them to identify them with ASCAP. Uh, all right, so all this information is correct. It has a section for additional related information, which is optional. And then once, you, once you're once you ready to submit, you know, it says right here, once you submitted a work registration, that registration has been processed by BMI, you will receive an email notification indicating the work has either been accepted or rejected. So I would check this box and hit submit. So we're not gonna submit it till I get this information from Davion. So we're gonna save and exit. When you exit, your changes will be saved. You can resume this work later. Save and exit. Okay, cool. So now it's right here. So yeah, so you can fill out your direct deposit information. So once you do get a, uh, you know, a royalty uh, statement, or receive royalties, it'll be cut to your uh, account. Uh, royalty statements, you can go here, change your address, pretty much you can do everything from here. So hopefully this video helps some of y'all out. And like I said, the next video, I think I am gonna do the uh, copyright your songs, because that, that kind of ties into what I'm trying to do and show like artists and producers. So if y'all have any other questions, feel free to hit me up and I'll get back to y'all as soon as I can. Till the next one, peace out. Bye.